let's talk about decentralized money markets. They are a digital evolution of traditional financial platforms, enabling users to lend and borrow cryptocurrencies directly on-chain without intermediaries like banks. These platforms operate on blockchain technology, offering greater accessibility and transparency. Users can secure loans using digital assets as collateral with interest rates influenced by market supply and demand. On Starknet, money market protocols like Nostra, ZKLend, Hashstack, and Nimbora have become integral to the DeFi ecosystem, showcasing significant growth and user adoption. The special thing about money market protocols on Starknet as you may have already noticed, is that thanks to multi-calls and native account abstraction, you don't have tedious approval processes. There's only one click and the deal is done with the same or even better security as on L1. Quick definition, a multi-call is a Starknet feature that lets you do several tasks in one go, saving you time and money. It's like making a single phone call to order pizza, pay a bill and book a ticket all at once, instead of making three separate phone calls. Now let's take a closer look at how the lending and borrowing processes work using money market protocols. Let's say Lisa decides to lend. Lisa has some extra ether that she wants to accrue interest on and she chooses to lend it out on a decentralized money market platform. Lisa connects her digital wallet and deposits her ETH into a lending pool. This pool consists of funds from many lenders creating a large pool of assets that borrowers can tap into. Once her ETH is in the pool, Lisa starts accruing interest on her deposit. The interest rate is dynamic, changing based on supply and demand for ETH in the lending pool. Now let's say Bob needs a loan. Bob wants to borrow some ETH for a short-term investment. To borrow ETH, Bob needs to provide collateral of higher value than the amount that he wants to borrow. So let's say Bob provides Bitcoin as collateral, ensuring the lender's security. After depositing his Bitcoin as collateral, Bob can borrow ETH from the lending pool. The interest rate he'll pay for the loan is also determined by the current supply and demand for ETH within the platform. Bob uses the borrowed ETH as planned and uses it for whatever floats his boat, and he then repays the ETH loan along with the accrued interest. Once the loan is fully repaid, his Bitcoin collateral is unlocked and returned to him. Now that we know how this works, let's check out how to lend and borrow on Starknet, using Nostra and ZKLend as examples. Quick disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Let's take a look at Nostra. After having connected your wallet, you can choose which market you want to deposit your assets in and your preferred amount. You can also enable lending and collateral. Once you've done that, you can now borrow up to the max amount shown above the currency. You can click on Manage and change the settings to Borrow. There it's the same process, you can just choose the amount, click Borrow and that's it. Now let's check out ZK Lend. Click on Supply next to your desired market and choose the amount you want to lend. Now you can head to your dashboard where you'll see your supply balance, assets to supply, and also assets to borrow. To borrow, click on the currency you want, choose the amount, and click borrow. All in all, decentralized money markets use blockchain to offer accessible and efficient lending and borrowing, with the benefits of transparency and no need for traditional intermediaries. But as always, do your own research. All right, thanks for listening. Bye.